Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to make a video today about trading in this current state of the market because a lot of you guys still want to know how to make coins. Even though this market is pretty much dead, there is not much going on. The content in this promo, the Shapeshifters promo week one is what we're currently in right now, uh, is just not a very high promo. There's not a lot of content coming out in terms of SBCs, objectives, or stuff like that. So we're just kind of stuck here on the game with uh, not a ton of stuff to do, which is unfortunate, but there are still ways to make coins in a market that is going down, in a market that does not have a lot of hype during the week, on the weekends, and I wanna talk you guys through some of those coin making methods right now. Of course, this these methods aren't just, you know, you can do these in a, in a market that's doing really well at the same time. These, these methods work in all sorts of markets, but I especially think that these specific methods work in a lower, uh, in a market that is dead, it is not, you know, very active that a lot of people aren't on. And I want to talk through some of those methods because uh, we're basically going to be do doing some fluctuation trading and uh, some variations of chemistry style trading on specific cards uh, and just kind of keeping in mind where the general direction of the market is headed with things headed down. So I want to talk through some of those things today. First thing I want to talk about is, of course, these shapeshifter cards are currently in packs uh this is set one that is in packs right now but a lot of these guys people are trying them out for their teams right a lot of these guys are really low right now these are pre weekly rewards prices so i know some of you guys might want these for cards for your teams that lucas has dropped a lot today which is crazy um but these guys are probably going to get packed a decent amount during rewards as well um but we can trade with these cards because obviously people might be trying these out for weekly this weekend and the new special cards in the game, there's just more people that are getting on to try them. So why do we want to trade with these cards and how are we going to do that? Let me show you again. We're going to be trading chemistry styles on these new cards. And one reason why this works in a market that is kind of down, it's kind of dead and slow is the fact that people are always trying out new cards because, you know, that's that, that's the way that FIFA promotes Ultimate Team, right? They promote this game in a manner where uh, you want to try out the new cards, well, even though the gameplay might not be that fun. Uh, they're going to be giving out new cards for you to try and to, to put in your squad. And there's people all around the world that are, that are trying these cards at any given time and we're adding them to the team based on whatever players they have in their ultimate teams to try to put together a different squad, try something new or try something fun. And when they try out cards, they like to have chemistry styles on them. And a lot of times you guys know how expensive these Hunter and the, uh, specifically the Hunter and the uh, Shadow Chem styles are in this game. So as you've seen a lot this year, uh, this is a really good trading method that you guys can do is trading with cards that have these chemistry styles on them. So that's why we're looking at Ronaldo Sanchez right here brand new card right this card is brand new it's in this uh set one of the um shapeshifters promo with the position change to left back uh so a shadow on his card is you know maybe not necessary but it's the most op chemistry style you're going to use renato sanchez with a shadow right now is fifty thousand coins forty nine thousand coins what is renato sanchez's left back card without a shadow you might ask that card is 37,000 coins without the shadow. And I can tell you from experience today, I was doing this sort of trading myself today. I'm not just giving you these methods. I'm doing them myself. These, Renato Sanchez is right here. I think three of these. Yeah, one of these I sold. I bought that at like 35 and just sold it for 40 and a snipe. But these three that were bought or sold at 55, 55, and 54, all three of these cards were purchased under 30 9,000 coins. I got this one for 37. I got both of these two at 39,000 coins and I sold them for 55K. So you don't need a lot of money to be doing a, a method like this. You can basically take a new card that is in the promo team that is a defender or is an attacker that would use a, a hunter card or a shadow card and do this method with them. And of course, you're going to want to focus on guys that are a bit cheaper in value, right? We look at this Ronaldo Sanchez because there's way more people in the game that can afford to buy this guy to try him out than there are other guys in the game that are trying to afford, you know, a Marcelo shapeshifter or the Ben Yedder, right? There's a, t a lot of people that can afford this Ronaldo Sanchez. What about uh, this this Hatebauer guy? Let's look at him. He could be a good example as well. Hans Hatebauer, how much is he? He's like a hundred and uh, it's like a hundred and fifteen thousand coins right now on the market. As you can see, with a shadow chem style, he is 140k. 
He's 138,000 coins with the Shadow Chem style. Now, you have to be careful and you have to make sure that these cards do sell, right? So, why would, if, you're, if you're looking to use this method, I'm going to add that to my transfer targets and see if that card actually sells. I'm going to look for open bids uh, that would be in a profitable range for where I know I can sell this card. Uh, so, there's no open bids for Hate Bauer. Okay, that's, that's good to know. But you can kind of just get a range that you can see. All right, this Hate Bauer card without the chemistry style on him, uh, without the shadow chemistry style, goes for... 120k less than 120k 115,000 coins 116k without the shadow chem style but with that shadow chem style he's 130k so you might see somebody that's trying this card out a lot of times this is where you find the deals either open bid or you'll be out here and you'll be searching and you'll see somebody who has tried out this card they've used it they've had fun with it for a few games or whatever they're going to sell it they forget that they have that shadow chemistry style applied which in turn makes the card more valuable and then all of a sudden, boom, you have a card listed up probably at 116K because somebody says, oh, he's going for 116K. Let me sell him. They list him up with the shadow chem style on him, but you can actually get that card to sell uh, for 130,000 coins just because that card is worth more with the chemistry style on it. Now, it doesn't, doesn't just work with the brand new promo cards. You can do this with some of the other uh, new promo cards as well. I've been trading with the same exact method for multiple, I can't even spell this guy's name. Max Max Aaron's is that his name? Max Aaron's. There he is. Two A's. Max Aaron's is right back card from Foot Future Stars has been one of my favorite cards to do this with. With a chemistry style shadow, he usually sells for like 120,000 coins ish. Ooh, he's a little low right now. 106. We're right before weekend league rewards, and I'm recording this, so there's not as much buying. Uh, but if I see this Max Aaron's like right around 100,000 coins. I know that I can probably get a sale on his card with the shadow chemistry style somewhere around the, you know, 117 to 120 range over the weekend, especially after weekend league rewards. So I'm going to be watching, uh, I think I'm going to go add that one on my transfer targets real quick. The one that had an open bid of like 103 or 104, because I'm kind of interested in that one. It's the one at 106. You know what? I'm going to add this one, see if it stays, because if I could, uh, Get an undercut right here. Maybe somebody undercuts at 100k flat. Then I would love that because that'd be a really nice profitable card as well. Let me show you one guy that's worked really well for me that uses a hunter chem style. Moussa Dembele, this uh, French striker that was a part of Foot Future Stars with a with a hunter chem style. Wow, he's low. This guy is low, man. 95k. Wow, 89,000 coins for this card with a hunter chem style. Ooh, how much does this card go for without the hunter chem style? 80, 87k, 86k without the Hunter Chem style. And I know this is right before Week in League Rewards, so there might be some people selling their teams right before this, but this Musa Dembele will be closer to 100,000 coins uh, during Week in League Rewards time period. So that's just something, these cards fluctuate more for Week in League Rewards or after that period. So I'm going to send him the transfer list because I know I can get around 100,000 coins for that um, during the weekend when people are buying these cards up for the week in league teams as you can see there's not very many of them under 95k so i'm going to keep a close close eye and a close watch on that you might ask why are we trading with the cards that are brand new pro and brand new promo teams again just because they have the hype and people are trying them out so that's that method right there chem style trading with the new specials something else that you can do and this is something this is one of the the things that i've been making loads of coins on at the moment is trading with icon moments Yes, icon moments are great to trade with. Basically, all you need to do if you you have to have probably around a million coins or maybe it's ideal to have like 1.5 mil if you're going to trade with icon moments because then there's a lot more icon moments that you can actually buy yourself. If you're at a million coins, there's not a ton. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this method because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have this kind of coinage at their disposal for this type of trading. But I think it is valuable to talk about this, and this is good market knowledge for basically everybody to know, is that these cards fluctuate a ton. Now, last weekend with Weekend League Rewards, these Icon Moments cards dropped a ton because they were getting packed all over the place by everybody, tradable, untradable, whatever. They were popping up on the market. A lot of Icon Moments dropped big time last week because of that. Uh, and these cards have been continually dropping over the past few days, but they fluctuate like crazy on the weekends during weekend league and even during the week because people want, you know, the thing with icons is you, you find undercuts often at the, the 59th minute 
or you find open bids often because people want the coins back. They try a card and they feel insecure without their coins sitting up in the top left-hand corner available for them to use. So they list up that icon at a price where they know it'll sell. They undercut so they can get the guaranteed sell because they don't want to wait on their coins coming back into the club. They sell quickly so that they, get the, they can get their coins back as fast as possible. And that's where the icon flipping comes in. And that's where we find deals, right? I'm going to show you my trans list right now since I can't get a filter to work. These three icons today, this uh, Ronald Komen, I bought at 1699. I sold it for 1799. So that's not a crazy amount of profit, but it is a little bit. This Balak, I bought it under one point. I, I bought this under a million coins, like 900 something. Uh, and this Ronaldinho, I bought for 1087. So I made 30K maybe, 20K on that. I don't know. Quick math is not happening for me. But these icons, icon moments and icons alike, in the market that is slowed down, that is more dead, um, these cards on open bid are fantastic. Late night open bids on icons, and then just be on the sniping filters, right? You can use the basic chem style to search icons. I'll show you some, um, some search filters right now if you're trying to get the 59th minute quickly. This is the basic chem style filter, which is great to use during lightning rounds. Uh, you're going to want to set a really tight filter during lightning rounds because there's so many cards that are packed and you want to get to that 59th minute quick because there's a lot of people that are on that 59th minute method. So I'm going to set the basic chem style and boom, as you can see, I'm at the 59th minute really, really fast. 945 for Roberto Carlos. Is this fresh? Is this a fresh Roberto Carlos? It is. All right. That's not a terrible price. Um, but again, these cards are dropping so much that you really have to be careful if you're trading with icons that you're getting the best deal out there, that you're getting a big time undercut and that you use Footbin. Please, please use Footbin to your advantage uh, to find out what a real price, a real good price is for that icon card. Now, again, this is there's a lot of risk in trading with these um, be just because uh, you have to really, really, really think about the tax. The tax is the biggest risk with these is making sure you know um, where the tax is, how much the tax is going to cost you. Buying an icon for 1.5 mil and selling it for 1.55 is not meaning that you made 50K off of that. You actually lost coins because the tax on a sale at 1.55 million is like 70, it's like 60 or 70 something K, right? 75K on, on a 1.5 million coin card is the tax 5%. So that's something that you have to keep in mind when you're flipping these cards that you do have tax to worry about. But again, for most of, most of you guys in a market like this, if you don't want to mess around with the icons, the special card trading with the chem styles or just special card trading in general is perfect because when the market is lower, there's less people on the game, less people are thinking about stuff, right? Let's look at like uh, Inform Yoris, for example. Hugo Yoris, how much is this card at the moment? How much is Inform Hugo Yoris? Am I going to be searching? Boom, there he is, 70,000 coins for this Yoris card right now. Open bid right here. Sometimes you see crazy open bids and when there's less people on the market, you can win bids like this at a very cheap price. You can win bids in this Yaris card probably somewhere around like 55 to 60,000 coins and sell them at 70K plus on the weekends. And you can do that with tons of other inform, informs and special cards on this game. If you wanna look for some cards to do this, I especially if it's later at the nighttime and you're like, bro, I wanna make a few coins, I'm gonna make a few coins. Go look through some of the past team of the weeks. Look what these cards prices are. Kind of go through and say, all right, you know what? Milinkovic Savage is 25K. Party is 24K. Pepe is 48K. And just, just honestly, pick a few cards, go out onto the market, look for some open bids and add some to your transfer targets and just kind of know their price and know how much you're going to be able to pay in order to make profit off those, right? So if Pepe is 48K, then you're going to want to get in probably somewhere around like the 41 to 42,000 coin range so that you can at least make a couple thousand coins per card after tax. And you know what? Don't always look at the Dybala. Don't always look at the Sun or the most popular cards in Team of the Week. Look at some of the SBC fodders as well because people are always buying these cards for SBC fodder. Uh, Neuer would be a good one as well to look at. Look at through some of the team of the weeks. Look at the promo teams. Uh, like look at Ake, look at Bruno Fernandez, look at Jao Victor, look at Cornet. All of these guys are going to fluctuate and have open bids at some point in time uh, because people list up cards on an open bid all the time. So if you want to find this page on Footbin, go to footbin.com, click the players tab, and then drop down to team of the weeks. Click right here. 
and it'll take you to all these listings of team of the weeks. And of course, look at old promo teams as well. We talked about trading with chemistry styles with these old promo teams. Um, these are pretty rare cards. This Ikone card, 218K is pretty freaking low. You know, how much does he sell for with a Hunter card? This would be a card that I would consider trading with because it's he had a lot of hype when he was in packs. Uh, and when this card came out, he had a lot of hype. What What's saying that that hype has died down now? I don't think the hype has really died down on this card right now. Boom, 221 with a Hunter. It's a CDM position change. What is the next uh, cheapest card with a Hunter on Ikone? What's the next cheapest one? Dude, there's none of them at 240,000 coins. No Ikones at 240K with a Hunter. How many at 250? None at 250. You know what? I'm going to buy this card because I think, especially with weekend league rewards coming up, I think that I might be able to get 250K for this card overnight on a listing. I'm actually going to list it up right now, too, to make sure it's the cheapest on the market. And all I need is one person in the entire world to go out there and look for any Kony card with a Hunter Chem style um, for their team that they need, especially at a CDM position change, which is interesting. Um, and then, boom, all I need is one person and I get a sale. So that's the beauty of position change trading. Of course, you have to kind of know your limits, know where they actually sell at. It's probably a reach that'll sell at 250K, but it's the cheapest one on the market, so I'm gonna give it a try and, and give that a try. So that's one of the things you can do to trade. Those are a few of the methods that you can do to trade in a market that is pretty low, like this market is right now. And again, you don't need a lot of coins to do this, right? You could trade with, uh, who's the guy that's in this most recent promo team? The most recent promo team, not Nanda Nandez. This is his name, Nandez, right? This center back uh, from the Syria, who is Uruguayan. This guy right here, Nandez, center back card. He's like what, twenty four thousand coins? Twenty k. How much is he? Twenty four k. Twenty five thousand coins. This guy is twenty five thousand coins right now on the market, right? He's a special card. He's a promo card, Syria center back. How much is he with a shadow? With a shadow chem style. He's 40K. He's 40K with a Shadow Chem style. Again, that's one of the reasons why we choose to trade with some of these newer cards is because there's just not as many on the market. People are trying them out. And there's honestly not as many people have applied chemistry styles to these cards. So this would be a perfect example. If you're somebody under a 50K budget, um, this could be a card that you trade with. Look for Nandez with a Shadow on open bid. How many open bids under 40K do we have? Because we know we can sell them at 40K. This is the only one. There's probably going to be more in the daytime when there's more people on this game. But again, what I wanted to bring to you guys today is just talking about some trading methods in this market. You can do it with the new promo team. We're getting Shapeshifters set two in a couple days, right? Be on the lookout for those new cards to be trading with as well when we see them come onto the game. Because um, what we see with that is when there's new cards that come onto the game, People have to go buy chem styles and put those chem styles on the cards. And some people don't like to actually do that. They just like to buy the card with the chem style on it already. And that's why that trading method works. It's been very, very good for me. It's worked very well for me. As you can see here with these Renato Sanchez's, bought at 39,000 coins, sold at 55K. So it's, it can work for you as well. If you enjoyed this video and you think it's going to help you make some coins, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.